Yeah, let's testify and give glory to God. Who'd like to go first? My brother Vivek, this is Ernie. I'd like to say hello to everyone and hello, to, yes, hello to this uh, wonderful group. Uh, just give give glory and praise to God for this uh, wonder, the tremendous anointing that He puts us to, that we receive from Him every morning in our morning encounters and the answered prayers. And brother Russell, uh, brother brother Russell, brother Savios. Um, reflections that I like to um, even pass on to uh, some of my um, friends and the people that I know and relatives that are overseas that are in Papua New Guinea uh, and just the, I, I just like to um, yeah, give glory, glory to praise to our, our God who is always the voice that I always hear even at work that I constant even though um, sometimes I uh, I don't know what to think the, the, the devil can be sometimes all the time even at uh, people sometimes say that I wish I had a job and, and, and stuff like that and they think that they're missing out on a lot but uh, and the devil can be there even if you have job, even if we have jobs sometimes we with the with young people who are just starting out on the work in the workforce they um, sometimes may have a, have in mind that they could be working there for a few months and they start to think oh yeah gee I need to I'm sick of this now I, I want to go to another job you know they have that so sort of like uh, they can be sort of like tempted to sort of like uh, that everything they'll be right, they can just get a job, you know, straight away. But I've experienced a lot, a lot of these cases where people, the young people, can come and work at a place for a couple of months, and then they just go and just say, "No, I'll be okay. I can get a job, you know, find a job any, anyhow." But um, they sometimes they do. Uh, in, in, often they have uh, cases that they. Uh, when they come to a reality check that when they do leave the job, uh, they sense the, that they uh, can't, you know, it's not as easy to just go and find a job, just um, how the way they expect it. So, and, you know, they get phone calls, you know, ringing back that they want the job back, but um, sometimes uh, they, they uh, miss out so, you know, the that was always there, sort of like um, in all cases and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm glad that these um, the word of God now that people who experience these sessions and stuff like that can sort of rec recognize this and discern this kind of um, uh, torment tormented thoughts and stuff like that like that they can discern you know when they get getting an attack especially when they become stressed for nothing uh, without really understanding you know why but and i think the the word that the word of god that he um that they that he gives us a spirit of um strength and assurance and um and we do not get afraid and get all our thoughts all unorganized and uh, disarrayed we know that we're under some spiritual attacks and it's a blessing that um, these that these sessions that the knowledge and grace that um, that we can go to the bible and also like obey and hear his words sometimes when we're not um, certain what people say and sometimes when we have doubts we can just go back to the scriptures and see the lord because he has or he has the final anointing the final um, say he stands alone in his words so we can just check and reproof and correct things that we can sometimes you know at times we can sort of like uh, make uh, mistakes so we can sort of like reproof ourselves 
and we define things properly so we can get back on the right path. And I think that these teachings alone uh, are strengthening, strengthening us all the time on the, some people who suffer in spiritual attacks that they can find a place like this to come and get some enlightenment, especially when they find that they can't do it themselves. They get over anxious and stuff like that, that they can become humble enough to come out of their dark places and come to these kind of places where they need help. And God is the only one that I find his word, his, his word is spirit and it's in, and his knowledge can bring you out. And he's only, he's the greatest physician for people who are, you know, kind of uh, sick and who are lost. This is the place where that no other, um, uh, where, uh, to me, no other medications or therapy that the word of God can bring him back from a uh, dark place and the lost. They can find themselves. And I thank the Lord for his uh, tremendous anointing, his truth is, can um, penetrate right through our soul and spirit where you can uh, discern what the truth is. I thank the Lord for every for everything. And I think uh, that also that uh, the well, when it's not only for ourselves, we can pray for others who are all the time who are in these places, not because um, we already so because uh, I experience these um, and understand these kind of places and how unsettling and how um, uh, how easily that people can give up on their faith and that because the devils they're always suggesting things and stuff like that and get be misled. So let's go back to and we stay on uh, the spirit of truth, the comforter is always calling and we can hear his voice all the time. And we cannot we are nothing without him. And I've never experienced such a power that um, in our so we can redeem ourselves and the power of anointing that it comes over us. And I thank the Lord and the angels that He's given us the ministering spirits that can help us find our way and guide us through the darknesses in, in, in our difficult moments. And I look at the difficult moments now, it's not much so much uh, as a frightening and fearful way, but uh, it's a now uh, just a challenge to look through the scriptures and just do um, a quick enlightening um, of the spirit to redeem ourselves. And I thank everyone. I thank um, you, Brother um, Vivek. And I thank uh, my brother uh, Russell for his uh, very um, deep um, revelations that he gives and stuff like that. So we can sort of fight our battles ourselves and, and say prayers to our God directly. And um, yeah, to help us stand in our feet. I thank you, everyone. I thank you, Sister Shanine, you know, Brother Savio, um, and everyone for the thank you, uh, great words. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Sonny, thank you. Uh, praise anyone else would like to? Yeah, praise God. Praise the Lord, brother. Yes, Krishna. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for blessing our group. And thank you, Jesus, for all the miracles and especially for our own guardian angels, as Brother Ernie said, uh, who are always with us. And thank you that my guardian angel always gets me up on time for the morning encounter with the Lord. It's such an anointed blessing. And thank you, Jesus, for Brother Russell, Brother Vic, Brother Sabu, Sister Shanine, and all the prayer partners. Thank you, Jesus, and God bless you all. And um, this morning I saw a person who had difficulty in walking. And as I walked past, I remembered that someone else a while back had a similar issue who was healed with Proverbs 4.12. The NRSV says, 
when you walk, your step will not be hampered. And if you run, you will not stumble. And the Holy Spirit, with my guardian angel, gave me the boldness to approach this person and say that I knew of someone with a similar issue that was healed by reciting a scripture verse with belief. As in Hebrews 4.12, it says that the word of God is alive and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. And praise the Lord, this person's face lit up. And I then gave them Proverbs 4.12 and explained to recite it with belief as often as possible and to spend time daily reading the Bible. And thank you, Holy Spirit. I'll be following up again as I saw this person walking off already a lot stronger. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, sister. Thank you so God much. Bless God bless you. God bless you. Yes, who would like to go next? I'll go next, uh, Brother Vivek. Yes, good. Yes. Um, last this week, actually, uh, firstly, good evening, everyone. Um, want to give praise and thanks and glory and honor to God. Uh, I think it's so easy for us to receive so many blessings during the week that when we come here, um, we, we sort of just take it for granted and we don't even remember what sometimes, or at least me, I speak for myself, I don't remember what I've received during the week. So this week I said, you know, uh, I'm going to make a note of every small blessing, however small it is. I'm going to make a note in my book as and when I receive it so that I don't, I, can, I, I don't forget about it. And some of those blessings has been, firstly, I thank God. It's been my first week of work in the new job. Um, and the, I know that God went before me. He, he made all those crooked paths straight. And week one has been so amazing. It's like as I didn't move into a new job because I went in and I felt like I, I sort of knew what was happening. And this cannot be me. This can only be, be God. And for that, I truly give him so much praise and thanks. And there, no amount of thanks is, is enough for that. Uh, during the week, I had a friend who was going for colonoscopy. And so I just sent her a message in the morning uh, as I was praying with uh, Brother Russell. I remember that, that the, her colonoscopy was on the day. Um, so as I was praying in tongues, I, um, uh, soon after that, I just sent her a message saying, thinking of you and praying in a very special way that your colonoscopy goes well. And it was so good to get a message back from her saying that, oh, thank you so much for your prayers. I've just taken the papers in the hospital and I've written my name and address on it and I get your message. And so if I don't know, if, if, if I cannot think that that's God working, then there's something wrong with me. But, but it is definitely God who made me send that message at that time. Um, Brother Vivek, I felt you were talking to me last week during the preaching because earlier in the week on Wednesdays, I actually have a church, small group Bible study that I attend. And the, the topic for discussion at that Bible study was um, how, you know, how do we pray or how do we get the presence of, of God uh, in our prayers? And it's not about just going in and asking and asking and asking and asking. And at the point in, at that point in time on that Wednesday, I thought to myself, oh, you know, I thank God. I sit in prayer and I thank God for so many, many, many things. Uh, but how do I get into the silence of, of prayer that, um, that this person is talking about? Um, and then when I came last Friday, uh, the topic was, you know, especially towards the end when you actually got us into that into that presence 
I really felt that presence at that point in time. And I said, oh my God, Jesus, I said, how do you, how do you talk to me like this? I said, this is what I wanted. And this is what you've shown me how it is. I didn't know. I questioned it on Wednesday and on Friday, you've just shown me how it's done. So I thank you, Brother Vivek, that you actually did that because it really showed me what to do and how to invite that presence of God um, when, when I pray, because I re was really struggling with it. Like I didn't know, I knew I can go in and I can thank and I can pray, but just inviting God into the presence, I really didn't know how to do it. And last week's teaching just um, immensely, immensely helped me with that. Um, and- Glory to God. Yeah, absolutely. And um, the morning encounters, Brother Russell, so many times, like, uh, I, I don't know, it just touches me so much. Uh, I think the day wouldn't go well if I didn't, if I wasn't part of that. Uh, I can't attend on Sundays because I have other stuff to do, but otherwise on all other days. Um, but um, every, uh, Savio's reflections and your teachings and uh, Shanine's uh, worship, so much of anointing today, so much of anointing. I joined in late, but but the little time that I joined, the anointing was so powerful. And I give glory and praise and thanks to God and may this group and everyone that's part of it stay, stay truly blessed. Um, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Les, for that wonderful testimony. Standing up for the Lord, it's so important that we stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who would like, like to share? Anyone who was part of the worship and has got felt that very presence of the Lord today night, today was a powerful worship as well. So we have to stand up and testify. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning here. And... Thank you, Jesus, for this group. Thank you for the breath that I take. I was ill for the past one month, more than a month. I lost my voice and you gave everything back to me. I was able to gain my strength to go back to work. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you for everybody that I encounter at work and I can spread the word and honoring the parents, talking about commandments, bringing the children to Christ for everything that I do and see or walk or face that your presence is with me. And I'm truly blessed through this prayer group and it motivates me. Thank you for every blessing and all the body of people who are tirelessly working and dedicating their time. So I just wanted to make a testimony about my um, life because um, there were times that uh, when when I was a young girl and I had to go for surgery and they said, I cannot have children and God blessed me with two children. And then, and many obstacles went by, yet I was able to face everything with the strength of Christ. I also wanted to thank the Lord for the courage that I have to speak. I was not like this before. So um, everything little by little, like uh, from the cornerstone, it add, added up. And then I came to JCILM. And then I, one day I heard Brother Vivek speak and all his testimony touched me. 
and then I was able to get his number and then I am with this group and time goes by and how much blessing and how many people that I can spread the word. And I thank for all these opportunities and I pray that God give them strength and all blessing from all aspects so that this mission will continue to grow and pass on globally throughout the world. I thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Jesus. All glory to God. We all work for his glory. None of us are. Nobody's greater or lesser. All are same in this group. So we are one, one spirit. So that's it. And thank you, Jesus, for his grace and his Holy Spirit. And that's why this group is called the Holy Spirit Brisbane Prayer Group. And whatever he teaches us, I, I sometimes come prepared, but I teach something else only. So everything happens by him and for his glory, not for us. So thank you, Jesus, for all the members and all the prayer warriors who are part of this prayer group. And everyone who's part of this group will be blessed. That's a part of our daily prayers. We pray daily in the morning during our morning encounter and in the evening during our rosary and the divine mercy for each and every one of us. So I know there's a powerful intercession as well as the prayer of the prayer warriors for each and every one of us. So whenever you invite somebody to the group, you're blessing someone with a new life. Imagine that's our best gift you could ever give someone. Best. They couldn't be something better than that. And remember, it costs you nothing, just a link. Russell will forward you a link, just forward it to somebody. And I'm sure the Holy Spirit will invite those people as well. But we have to take that action in faith. If we don't invite others, nobody will join us. So it's important that we spread this message to others and we become the light of the world. Thank you, Janet, for that testimony. And yes, who else would like to testify? We got time for testimonies now. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Hello, God, brother. Yeah, go ahead, Chris. Uh, a month ago, my son went for blood test, and the report was not too good. Then the hospital asked him to do another test. After three weeks, he went for the test. He was very scared also. So I told him, "Don't be, don't be scared." The report cannot do anything. Jesus is in you, is dwelling in you. And then I also told him, if you see the report, don't get panic or don't get worried. So exactly, he got the report and it was not too good also. So the last report, the last uh, blood test event, I told him, this time your blood test will be normal and you don't get panic and all that. So he went for the test. And today, he, the hospital called him up and gave the negative report. Yes, God. It's the Lord. And I praise and thank God for all the glory and his love for us and each and every one of us. I thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank I, you. Sister. Thank you. Wonderful. I love the group very much. And uh, the morning encounter, too. It's very inspiring. Thank you, brother. God has blessed okay. each and every one of us. Yes, all glory to God. Okay, none of us uh, need any glory. Everything is glory to God because He is the one who runs this group, not me, and not brother Russell. So we all work together for His glory. Thank you, sister, and thank you for being part of the rosary session as well. I see you very active there. So thank that you. is also important. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Praise the Lord, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Um, this is Rashmi here. I would like to testify that um, I am um, grown very strong day by day. Um, receive many, many blessings in the week. As usual, how sister said that we forget about the small blessings we have received. Yes, we, we should make it an attempt to write it down so that we remember I received this, I received that. So we'll testify better for the week on Fridays. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping us alive. Um, during the rosary session today, when it was announced that Shanine's husband is unwell and there's an operation, 
so yeah the very thought came and then today who will do the praise and worship uh as it to say you know it was on my head or something like that i was just then i said no brother vivek said last week not to worry we don't have to worry and i had always changed that five letter word into jesus from long before and when you had asked so so are you worried in the last week um, see if you are worried so i said no no i am not worried so i want and today morning when i heard of this thing i that the word came and then i said no no somebody else will surely conduct the praise and worship and it was really beautiful we miss sister shanine for the uh, right but brother you did it well and uh, i praise and thank the lord every morning that what we get the strength from all all savio russell all of you i feel so if i don't i don't attend any of these things uh, i feel i have not my day is not complete so i really thank the lord for the gift of life of all of you in our lives praise the lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you rashmi brother i just like to add a testimony yes go ahead and uh, this is a testimony by the way from sister shanin you have just heard sister rashmi update you on now why she is not here today but this testimony is and this is what she has messaged me she says i just praise and thank you jesus for a successful surgery that is the surgery on her husband he had a knee surgery today and they still at the hospital i think uh just praise and thank you jesus for successful surgery and for all the graces the wonderful graces and the blessings on our family and all families and thanks everyone she wants to thank everyone for their prayers all glory to god she also said today's uh praise and worship session was very anointed so she wants to thank god for that thank you jesus also my testimony of today and this was just like um uh part of our work day today where in general all that you see in the workplace are most people they are just whinging about what is not okay and why they have to go through all those challenges and pains and everywhere you go around there's just people whinging so there's a few people in the team that just decided we're going to have a gratitude day today at the office so on our social channel they decided to just post things that they are grateful for and those very same people that are only whinging throughout the day every single day had so many things to be thankful and grateful for and i thought lord if we can just shift our attitude in the way we think and look at everything around us there's still so much that we can thank for and yet we choose to whinge and not thank god for even the fact that we are alive and the air that we are breathing so thank you jesus i just want to thank him for everything that i have today the very air that i am breathing right now that i am able to speak there are many that still have that challenge where they want to express themselves and cannot thank you lord that my heart never stops beating thank you for everything our health our strength our family the the privilege to be part of this prayer group thank you jesus that our eyes can see thank you that our ears can hear thank you for our family our friends our colleagues thank you for the birds in the air the rain that you pour down on us the sun you shine down on us thank you lord for everything and i also want to encourage all of you brothers and sisters if there is something that you recognize in your life that god has given you as a good thing please unmute and speak up that is why brother vivek keeps asking if you have anything that you want to testify about there is something you will always have something in your life the very fact that you are here in itself is a testimony you could have been anywhere else it's the weekend today so i'm thankful to god that i am here please do not hesitate please do not feel shy do not be afraid you are speaking to your family and you are talking to your god unmute your mic and testify to god thank you jesus praise god thank you jesus amen amen i want to thank and praise my lord for the gift of the holy spirit and especially for the gift the fruits of galatians 522 thank you lord thank you thank you thank you jesus thank you so much hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus Lord, I come in the name of Jesus. I pour the precious blood of Jesus as a hedge of protection on our minds, our thoughts, our actions, our body, the words that we speak from our mouth, our entire being, and as a hedge of protection around us and sealed in the holy name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord, for the breath of life, Lord, for keeping me alive today to be present here at the prayer meeting. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be part of this Brisbane prayer group family. Thank you, Lord, for this week that has gone by. Thank you, Lord, for your word and your revelations that you give us each day. Thank you, Lord, for the miracles that you're working in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the victory over every challenging battle over the evil one. Thank you, Lord, for the destiny helpers, Lord, that you are sending across into our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the doors of opportunities that you open up into our lives, into our jobs and other opportunities. Thank you, Lord, for the financial blessings that you're pouring into our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the peace, for keeping us united together as one family. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and for your strength to collectively, as a one prayer group, Lord, fight against all evil. Thank you, Lord, for the food that you give us, the shelter and the abundance in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for our jobs that we have, the workplaces, for our colleagues that we work with. Thank you, Lord, for your wisdom and for your discernment in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy and your grace in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the favor that chases and overtakes us and the full Brisbane prayer group. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness that is running after us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for working for the good in every situation in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for being our way maker, for being our miracle worker, for being our promise keeper and in our light, Lord, in the darkness. Thank you, Lord, for restoring all our broken relationships in our lives. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sakit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and praise God also for a wonderful week gone by. I thank you, Lord, for being allowing me to be part of this Holy Spirit Brisbane prayer group. Remember, some people say, so what, I just joined the group. I tell you one thing, for people who understand what I'm talking, in the realm of the spirit, there's always spiritual warfare taking place. The devil does not want you and me to be part of a prayer group because that's where it's a spiritual connection and people are praying for each other's spirit. You and I know the truth now that it's in our spirit, in the realm of the spirit, that all healing takes place. Everything starts there and only shows up physically. It means whatever we see physically is actually started up in the realm of the spirit. So when you're connected to a powerful prayer group, the evil one doesn't like it. So when somebody is thanking and saying, I'm thanking God that I'm part of a prayer group, you are truly being blessed and you know that it's because of God's grace that you're part of this Holy Spirit Brisbane prayer group. And because you're there, the hedge of that protection is always there. A little person who is little weak in spirit, the devil will put you out of the group immediately. So it's important that we are part of this and we give this to other people. So we thank and praise you, Lord, for a wonderful week gone by, for the air we breathe and for the breath of life, Lord, for keeping me alive today to preach your word and to stand up for your holy name, Lord, for the wonderful week gone by, for everything that you showed me and for so Sister Rashmi and Sister Les who have taught me one thing, gratitude has to be had in a journal. You have got to have a journal. So I encourage just like these two sisters, I've learned this and I said, wow, as soon as they were speaking, I realized I should also maintain a journal and thank God every day on my diary for all the little things he has done. So I realized how wonderful that day is. And for the things he has taught me, which were not as good as well, what I learned in that day, for which I'm grateful as well. So it's, it's important that we all as a group learn to maintain a journal and thank God in these little things of life. And, and for everything that we do, like the air we breathe and these beautiful uh, birds that we see or beautiful flowers that we see, little things of life we thank and praise God. So yeah, thank you, Jesus, for this uh, wonderful prayer group and every member of this prayer group, every warrior of this praying family. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Anyone else would like to share and give glory to God? We go, I will go another 10 more minutes so that everybody gets a chance. Hello, brother. This is Veera, and I would like to praise and thank the Lord for all his blessings, for keeping me alive, and for this week that has gone past by. Uh, I had to undergo a tooth extraction, surgical tooth extraction this week, 
and uh, everything went on well. So I would like to praise and thank the Lord for that. And also for giving me work. Uh, I worked only two days this week. But today morning when I woke up, I was again, uh, something was troubling me. And I, I remembered yesterday's uh, Brother Savio's reflection, be anxious of nothing. I opened that and I started claiming Philippines 4, 6 and 7. Uh, and I said, no, this is just the devil trying to, you know, put that fright in me. I'm not going to be anxious about anything, but I just put all my trust in the Lord. And I got a call from the agency, but I didn't want to pick it up. And uh, they left a voice message for me. I said, why, why should I worry? I will uh, take back the call and I will see. And uh, she was so nice and she said, it's the same place where you have already been before and would you like to go again today? And I just praise and thank the Lord for that. And thanks to these little reflections that we receive and which we can, you know, go back when we feel a bit uh, uh, low. And I really like to thank everyone on this group for, you know, helping me grow so much like Brother uh, Russell's morning encounter the rosary and these reflections are really keeping me and my family strong and i'd like to praise and thank the lord for that thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you thank you lord. yes anyone else would like to share This is Jane here, brother. Yeah, Jane. Go ahead. I want to thank the Lord for all the blessings upon me, upon my family, for his word, for his spirit, for his guidance, for his protection, wherever we go. Um, I want to share a testimony, brother. I, 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 lost my, I lost my aunt last week, Friday. So she was a warrior for Christ from the beginning. From this, in the sense that she had only one daughter, which she gave as a nun, to the Lord. She was she was serving the Lord as a nun. So uh, after her death, we we know that she was a warrior for Christ. She was serving the Lord in many ways. She had a close relationship with the Lord. Uh, she was with the Lord the whole day. She was with the Lord as many as in as in many any way which she can, either serving the church or some other way. In any way she was serving the Lord. And so we could, everyone, uh, after her death, uh, in, her, the, in the homely, the father described about the way she lived. And so she, she was able to touch many lives. Many who attended the funeral, uh, they, they saw the way she lived and they were touched. And they said, this is the way should, we should live. Even after her, after her death, she was living in many, many, many souls. So that st struck me. So, and the father said, no, it's not how long we live, the way we live. Sure. Totally true. Absolutely true. Uh, so, uh, uh, all of, uh, even all of our family members were speaking about the way she lived. And she was an example to each one of us. So, it, uh, even, say, so it was small age, she was, she, she has gone to the Lord. But the Lord has given the strength to each of my members, they were not much worried and they were pleased that satisfied, happy that she's with the Lord. And the strength that uh, that strength came from only from the Lord. And we could see Disney helpers in many ways. They helped us, they kept their helping the family and uh, the strength the Lord has given to uh, overcome the uh, absence. Even though it is difficult, but still we could see the uh, the hand of the Lord upon all the members of the family. So they are physically strengthened by the Lord. So I want to really thank the Lord. And uh, it was an uh, inspiration for all of us. Um, that is um, the way we die is important. Not how the, uh, the way we live describes the way how we die. So the minds we inspire after her death, it was really inspiration for all the family members. Thank you, Jane. Thank you for that testimony. It's really truthful. Actually, what you say is absolutely right. Uh, thank you, Lord, for Sister Jane. 
Cheers, Pana. For the people who are blessed because of our ministry. Thank you, Jean. Thank you for that wonderful testimony. Thank you for standing for Christ. And we pray that God rests your auntie's soul. And may she be in, with, with God in his heavenly bosom. And may she rest there. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, anyone else would like to testify? Give glory to God. Vivek, Vivek, this is Lucy here. Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, I thank and praise God for giving me a new life and blessing my family and me. And I have just uh, given the link to many of my friends. They have joined your group. I like Savio's, yours, and Russell's teaching. I've been very touched. I pray and thank God for everything what is going on in my life. Thank you, Please. Jesus. Please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Good afternoon, Brother Vivek. This is Sharon with you. Yes, I'd like to testify uh, in uh, uh, three weeks prior, we, we had a session whereby uh, we were praying in tongues and uh, you, were the, you prayed over me and like the gift of tongue was there. My daughter was so touched by it that she also wants to have the gift of tongues so I said whenever uh, you are having the session again she's only 15 years old but that uh, craving for the gift of tongues has come into her and I want to approach one of someone who can bless her with that okay so what you do is listen to that session it's on YouTube I had prayed not just for people yeah. for anyone who listens it Listen to that session. It is live in spirit. Remember, you and I are spirit. We are not flesh, Sharon. So you right. and I are spirit. And when we are spirit, we can go back in time or go back in that day. Anointing is the same. So listen to it. Allow her to listen to it and she'll get the gift as well. That very session just... Uh, yeah, so they'll be blessed. Brother Russell, mm -hmm. I think it was the last mm -hmm. session of the gift of tongues. If you'd like to share it so that the sisters, you know, benefit. I think it's the last session of the ring. Yes, 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 yes. Also, the first part of the gift of tongues was powerful. We had the, the, the Holy Spirit gave us the gift of drinking the blood of Jesus. I'm sure some of you uh, were blessed that very session. If someone was blessed, put an amen during that powerful session of uh, drinking the blood of Jesus. Actually, many people were burping, many deliverances that day. It was a very powerful session that day. If someone who remembers attending that session, um, you know, we had. Is it on YouTube, brother? It's all on YouTube, yes. And Russell will share that link as well. But someone who had attended, so you can attend the first part of that teaching. Uh, many of these prayers don't get repeated, okay? So, yeah, so many times it just happens. Even the last session of uh, choosing worship or worry, the Lord's presence, uh, it's so powerful to be in the presence of God. And it's just around from 10 minutes for people who attended last week and who were in the presence of God. Okay, I'm sure you put an amen to that as well. It's very, very powerful. The last session that we had about choosing worship over worry, suddenly the Holy Spirit led me to his presence and said, we can experience the love of Abba Father. And that is a wonderful experience. So it's, it's, it's powerful for those who attended last week. It was suddenly in the middle that the Lord you know, revealed himself to our prayer group. Uh, these are great things that happen. So... Yeah, so it's all glory to God. Don't just think Brother Vivek has got this. It's the glory of God that's upon me that is for ministry purpose. And that is only for ministry purpose. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's just so powerful. So it's all for the glory of God. So let's always remember the, the preacher is not important. Let's always remember that we are part of a very powerful praying group. How many of you believe that this prayer group is powerful in the first place? If you believe, put an amen. Only if you believe you're part of a very, very powerful prayer group where we pray for one another. If somebody feels hurt, everyone is hurt. 
Okay, that's why your prayer requests are very important for us. We need to pray. So it's not necessary. Someone may say, brother, but you don't reply to prayers. You don't pray. I, I look at every request and I pray. Wherever I am, I stop and make a prayer. Because I know prayer is the only way God is going to answer that. And it's important that we pray for one another. And you are part of this group. Uh, you know, there's so many people who would love to join, but don't know about this prayer group. So, and, and if you're part of, there are so many prayer groups in the world. This prayer group has got one unique thing. The Holy Spirit runs it. And one thing is so good is that you can get a prayer partner in this prayer group. You can search and someone would like to pray with you. Someone would like to become your friend. You may have never seen that person. Uh, you get prayer warriors who love to pray together. There, I know of certain people who pray in groups of two and three and share their uh, you know, problems with each other and make prayers and see answered prayers. So this group is moving to small churches the teachings from here are moving to people. Um, you know, whatever is being shared here is going to places all across the world. People are sharing it with their family, with their churches. Uh, so it's all moving. It's not just sitting here. It's all moving from here. And the Lord is moving through the people. So, you know, if you want to gift someone, it's such a wonderful thing to introduce this to somebody else. I remember testimonies of in the, in the past. Someone who had joined this group said, I will listen to it one time only because you are forcing me. I will listen to this teaching of this brother Vivek only because somebody forced and said, look, only once I will attend, only once. And I know people who said that and are still part of this prayer group and they love it so much that now they have become warriors spreading the word of God. This is the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I also remember during certain deliverance sessions that we have run in the past, Okay, and I know this as well, where the mother has just put the deliverance, just the prayer on, and the children have listened to it, and they have actually got delivered by just listening to the teaching, and you know, when the, when the prayer was going on. So that much is the power of the Holy Ghost. So we have to understand that the anointing is upon this group, and we are blessing other people. So it's not about me, it's about everyone, all glory to the Lord. So when we invite others, we are blessing other people, and that's why it's important. We'll take one last testimony before we start and then Russell can make his announcements and yeah. Anyone else would like to testify? Okay, Russell, I guess you can announce, uh, you can start after that. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, brother. <clears throat> a warm welcome to all newcomers who are attending this session for the first time, either on Zoom as well as on YouTube. If you are enjoying and are being blessed by this session so far, by what you're hearing and the presence of God, if that's stirring you, please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, and you can join our Telegram group. So I've posted the link in both the YouTube chat as well as the, the Zoom chat. Can click that link you will need to download the telegram app there but that's a good place for you to a safe place actually for you to pray with others you can post your own personal prayer request there and there are others who don't know you and will still stand like brother said just now they stand together and pray for you just as you you were part of their own family that's that's the the beauty in this prayer group it's that connection with jesus that you know the, the love that overflows there essentially so I welcome you all to join the, the group on Telegram. Um, if you are being blessed by these sessions, uh, all of these recordings, by the way, are uh, the sessions are on live. So we have, uh, first just run you through all the sessions we have. We have our daily morning encounter with the Lord that's run at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time every day, 365 days a year. We also have the Friday evening Bible study sessions. We have Brother Savio's reflections that are shared on our Telegram group every single day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And then we have the Rosary and the Divine Mercy group. So there are these four different streams that we run. The Rosary and Divine Mercy sessions are run at 7 p.m. in the evening, Australian Eastern Standard Time, uh, Monday to Thursday. And then on the Fridays, because we have this Bible teaching session. So on the Fridays, that session is run at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. 
perfect time to run that when you've got the divine mercy prayer with it there. So if there are any of you that would like to and are able to join at that time, depending on whatever time zone you are in and whether that suits you, you can join that session live for Rosary and Divine Mercy. If you're alone, you need someone to pray with, that's the perfect opportunity there. If you think you can't make it at that time, but would still like to pray, like Brother said, the, the same presence of God is available even in the recordings. So all of these sessions, the morning encounters, the Friday Bible teachings, the Rosary and Divine Mercy sessions, are stored the recordings are stored on our YouTube channel. You can jump onto those uh, to our YouTube page and then just you know replay that recording and pray with it. The teachings are also stored teachings, the Friday teachings and the morning reflections, the morning encounters with the Lord sessions are also stored on our Spotify podcast channel. You can find them on other podcast channels as well. Just search for the Holy Spirit Brisbane prayer group there and you'll find it. Um, also about our uh, first Friday sessions, we typically run the first Friday of the month. Our Friday evening Bible study sessions are run at St. Dipna's Church in Aspley. But for this coming Friday, that's the first Friday of December, as well as the first Friday of January, we will. there's a slight change in program. We will not be running them in the church. They will only be run online like this session. So all those that would normally otherwise come to the church on the Friday evening, please take note. First Friday in December and first Friday in Jan 2023 will only be run online, not in person at St. Dimpna's Church. And then um, I'll also post a link to the I Confess Boldly Scriptures. If you found that valuable, you can store a copy. Just a second. You can download a copy of this and make your own personal print. You can recite those scriptures every single day. So I've just posted that in the Zoom chat and I'll post it on our youtube page as well on the youtube live chat russell, russell they are also in different languages can you also post yeah the link that i have posted there on both these platforms is actually a link to that folder it's not a link to a file it's a folder that has the i confess boldly in a few different international languages so you can pick and choose whichever language suits you best and you can pray the scriptures in your own language so these are scriptures that are taken from the bible you'll find the reference of those scriptures from the Bible as well, but we have slightly modified them to make them as bold, strong, powerful, personal declarations that you make over your own life and your family. So use them in your own personal prayer every single day. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.